Okay. You tell me what you'd like to do. Well. Here. We're at uh, 679 over 256. We could multiply this 9 fourths over, we could multiply that by, um, so it'll be 64 over 64. Right. Then we'd have equal denominators. Okay, so 9 times 64 is 576 over 256. So we could use that once. We could use it once. And then we'd be left with 679, 679 minus 576. Mm -hmm. We'd be left with 103 over 256. Hmm. So 100, 103. So. That's less than one, though. Yeah. So it's not going to work out. Right. So maybe we needed to put a two here. Hmm. All right. So you can try uh, put a 2 here. So we get 679 over 256, and we're going to subtract away 2 times 3 halves. Right? Alright. Negative 89. Oh, that didn't work either. So, maybe we have to put the... The 1. Yeah, we have to put a 2 on the 1, but that's going to leave us... 167 over 256. Oh, you wanted to just put 1 there. Minus 1 th times 3 halves? Yeah. Alright, good. And that's 295 over 256. That's still greater than 1. That's still... Yeah, the problem is that denominator is tough for us to deal with. Yeah. Alright, but this was, this was actually a great effort. Yeah. Um, and it showed us that, that in base 3 halves you can't count down by subtracting away, just like like you can in um, the integer basis. So you would would you sort of have to go backwards, like f forwards, like this? Yeah. So somehow we're gonna have to figure out how to go forwards. Hmm. All right. So let's go to the last video.